Iran insists its atomic program is peaceful. But recent satellite imagery has revealed the construction of secret nuclear facilities there. Well, what we have here is a satellite view of a uranium enrichment facility in Iran. There's nothing in the actual layout of the, of the above ground physical structure that indicates it's a, a uranium enrichment facility. It was only because of uh, a tip-off from uh, human intelligence that we know that that's what this purpose is. Initial reports suggest that six buildings here provide space for centrifuges to operate. The critical question is how much bomb-grade uranium such facilities could make. But there are limits to what even the best satellites can tell a future president. They take a really good camera, like the Hubble Space Telescope. And if you put that in a low orbit, it's amazing what you can see. Your resolution is about between two and three inches. 200 miles up, you still can't read a license plate but you could estimate an object's height by its shadow. But there's a catch. Um, if the satellite is going to stay in orbit, it has to be moving at 17,000 miles per hour. That means it's not going to hang around very long. At that speed, the satellite will pass overhead in just 80 seconds, and only once a day. For the satellite to stay overhead, it must move at the same speed as the ground below. This can only be done in a higher orbit, where gravity is weaker. The problem is you're 22,000 miles away. And even the Hubble Space Telescope, when looking at the Earth from that distance, can only get a resolution of about 20 feet. It couldn't even tell if there were two cars parked next to each other. It would see just one blob. So you're stuck. If you really want to spy, if you want to be able to see two people instead of just one blob, you're only going to be above the spot once a day for between one and two minutes. Even with these limitations, satellites can reveal critical information. Earlier GOI images of the site in Iran expose something startling. You can see that basically they're building these large underground cascade buildings here. And in this image, they're layering concrete upon dirt upon concrete to create a multi-layer defense against any kind of earth-penetrating uh, weapon. The secret complex is protected and camouflaged. After they were finished with it, they filled in the dirt outside of the perimeter. And so when they finished, it looks as though this is the complete facility. In fact, the real facility is outside the perimeter in this area over here. The hidden buildings are massive, each one larger than five football fields. The square footage at Natanz would certainly support enough centrifuges to enrich uranium to uh, the, the level that you would need for a weapons program. Most analysts believe Iran has not yet enriched uranium to the level required for a weapon. But they think this vast infrastructure could do it. <laughs>